Welcome back to Ash's channel and to my reef. So today's video, uh, keeping in line with the one that I came out last week where, uh, you know, somewhat uh, try and keep uh, the nutrients away uh, from your tank and, you know, how you should grow your rocks, uh, turkey baster or uh, you could use a power head. I kind of find power head to be more effective. It also uh, flows off some of the pests that might be on your corals and your fishes can eat on. Uh, turkey baster just doesn't have that kind of uh, power. Uh, so today's video I'll be covering about uh, sometimes that we never, you know, again, uh, a topic that we never discuss. Uh, we talk about the nutrients and phosphates and nitrites and nitrates and all that kind of stuff. But there are other things that also affect your tank that we sometimes don't realize. And Today's topic is one of those uh, that I will try and bring it over to you. It will be a very, sh you know, small, short uh, topic uh, discussion. But the, uh, the the intent here with this video is to deliver the message, and I really hope that you will take something out of it. Uh, so, the topic that I'm going to cover today is keep this out of your tank. Yes, you got that right. You need to stay and keep your hands out of your tank as much as possible. Uh, you know, uh, part of the thing is, uh, we always have these urges of changing our aquascape or you know, placing coral here and there or moving those corals. I kind of feel uh, before you add any coral, you, you make sure that you have planned and you know, did your research before bringing that, that element or uh, that specimen into your, uh, you know, you know, into your uh, you buy that coral and then once you have done that research then you should only then and then you should be able to you know place it in your tank but you know I have done this I will admit it and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that we walk into the store into an LFS we find a fish or a coral that we just like the colors we love it we don't even know if our system is there yet we buy it we bring it home we don't even know where are we going to place it we look at the aquascape and we start thinking I'm going to be placing it on this side of the tank I'm going to be placing it on this side of the tank I'm going to be placing it in the middle of the tank and we constantly juggle around right until we are satisfied that oh this is what it looks now while we do that we constantly change the location of that coral so in a way you are stressing that coral and you know not just that when you're you're putting your hand into your, your water, uh, you kind of uh, disturb the balance. Uh, how does that make sense? Well, you're gonna change your aquascape. A lot of time we end up moving a rock and guess what? The other rock, you know, all the other rocks tumble and you end up creating a storm into your tank. Uh, you know, the corals don't speak to you, but they do get stressed. Uh, these are very delicate uh, specimens that we try and keep in our tanks so it's very 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 important before you add any coral you do some research and you have that space sorted out before you buy that coral uh, the second so this is one thing way how you could keep your hands out of uh, your tank or eliminate putting it you know putting your hands again and again try and move that coral uh, the second thing is uh, you know there will always be something that bothers you as a hobbyist and you need to move that or a snail or something died and you need to take it out well there are a lot of other tools in the you know, in the market you you know um, one thing that I kind of find helpful is this uh, garbage litter picker that I picked up from dollar store for two dollars and 25 cents Canadian and this thing does the job uh, you know my tank is 28 inches deep and as you can see I can easily reach to the bottom of the sand bed right from the top so I really don't need to put my hands into the tank, right? So uh, there are, there might be other tools, uh, there might be other methods of, uh, you know, uh, moving things around. But the idea here is to keep your hands out as much as possible from your tank. Uh, if you want your tank to be successful, apart from your regular husbandry, uh, keeping your parameters stable, uh, you know, I would also suggest to sometimes leave your tank alone. Uh, you know, a lot of hobbyists that I have seen, 
what they do is constantly they hover around the tank and the corals and all the other stuff and they constantly keep moving things around keep moving things around every time remember every time you try and keep moving things around you are you are kind of taking the stability out of that tank and creating uh, something that uh, you know like a storm effect in uh, in the ocean every time there's a storm what happened to the reef the reef gets tumbled upon the coral gets moved around and then they end up somewhere else and then you know if they're healthy they will grow back but that's the effect you do that in your tank every time you move things around so try and eliminate that as much as possible and the only way how you could do it the solution to this is plan 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 uh, make sure that you have a set design of your aquascape before you even add the rocks uh, you know before you even add the water put that aquascape before you even add the fishes or the coral and anything else in the tank fix that aquascape and once it's done do not change it this is uh, you know I have done this in the past and I have lost a lot of coral so as I said I'm the first one to blame myself than anybody else out there I will take the blame but I want to share this experiences of mine so the newcomers in this hobby or somebody who has not realized that can take something out of it right the whole point of our videos is to share our knowledge and you know uh, go forward with this hobby and be successful in uh, growing these specimens in our tank and in the end be happy we all spend our hard-earned money in this hobby so why not try and derive that success out of this now in that you have to try and you know eliminate certain things uh, so one thing that you should uh, try and keep uh, is uh, leave the specimens alone once you have added them in the tank uh, you know once your lights and everything has been settled in just keep them alone eventually they will all settle down because this is an ecosystem right an ecosystem settles down by itself right so do not make changes quite often changes always uh, will you know create imbalance in your system and your corals will suffer your corals will die you wouldn't even realize why your corals died right so that's the message I want to deliver from today's video I'm hoping uh, you guys like this video do not feel uh, to ask any questions I will try my best to answer any questions I can and yes if you like the video please hit the like and the subscribe button and before I go uh, Merry Christmas to everybody uh, stay warm enjoy the holidays with your families and in the end happy reefing